y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what I eat in a day video oh my golly I have not seen you guys talk to you guys nothing for so long <laughs> how are you how have you guys been I hope you guys are all doing well staying healthy I hope you're having a fabulous day um, I know I haven't been on here in a while and I apologize for that. We had a family emergency in Missouri, so we have been in Missouri for a couple of weeks. So most of you guys probably know if you've been following me for a while, my grandpa has been battling cancer for um, almost two years. Well, unfortunately he did pass away, so um, we went back there. Luckily we made it back there so that way we could see him while he was still alive because that was very important to me. Um, you know, I, I probably would have never forgiven myself if I didn't get back there before he actually passed. So again, that was just super important for me. And um, you know, all I can say is he was probably one of the most amazing men I knew. I, you know, I, along with so many others, loved him dearly. He was that type of person that, you know, if he, he could walk into a room with a bunch of strangers and he would just have them laughing and every single person in that room would be his friend by the time he walked out. Um, he was just, just an amazing man and he will be very, very dearly missed. So my apologies that I have been a little MIA. Like I said, it was just super important for me to get back there to see him and, you know, support my family and also have support from my family. You know, my mom was down there, so Lynn went with me. Not all of us could go, but I'm thankful for the last few days that I did get to spend with him and I will always treasure them. It's one of those things where he's gonna be so deeply missed, but you're also, happy for him because you know you know he's not in pain anymore and he kept saying the last few days you know I want to meet Jesus I'm ready and I'm glad I got to go because he really towards the end he wanted everybody there he wanted he wanted to know he was at peace with it but he wanted to know that everybody else was at peace with it. And even though I know it was extremely hard, I was at peace with him going because I knew how much pain he was in. I knew he was ready and I know he's going to an amazing place. So, you know, and I just want to thank every single one of you guys that reached out to me hey, saying, hey, where'd you go? When you coming back? But I do want to say thank you for all of you guys who are being very patient with me. This has been a rough start to the year. It's one of those years where I hate to say it can't get any worse because I'm really terrified to jinx myself because I would hate for it to get worse. <laughs> it was kind of funny because Lynn's like, well, mom, maybe it's going to be like, you know, 2020 started really well and then it ended really bad. She's like, maybe 2021 is going to start really bad and end well. And I'm like, I like the way you think. We're just gonna roll with that. <laughs> That's where I've been. Again, thank you for being patient with me. I've missed you guys. I love you guys. You guys seriously just warm my heart. Like I've said so many times, I just feel so blessed to have all of you guys in my life and have you guys as my friends. So moving on to the what I eat in a day, for whatever reason, I've been craving like pancakes or waffles or, you know, along those lines. <laughs> so I found a brand new waffle recipe that I'm gonna give a try. And it says that it's supposed to be like crispy, waffles. I am getting a little bit hungry. It's around 11 15 so let's get in the kitchen and let's try out those waffles because you know sometimes you just gotta feed those cravings. All right so it is 11 15. I'm gonna make some keto waffles. I will have this recipe linked down below but in this bowl I already put in there two cups of almond flour Gonna add in there around a teaspoon of baking soda. Just gonna do a little shake of salt. Then we're just gonna mix the dry ingredients together. This is the first time I've made these waffles. This is a new recipe, so I will definitely let you know what I think of them. Gonna add three eggs. a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and then it even says in there that that is not a typo, it's definitely a tablespoon, so. 
Got it. And I'm just going to do a little squirt of some stevia. It says around a half a teaspoon. And then it says, it says a half a cup whole milk. I don't have, well, I'm not going to use whole milk because I'm keto. So I'm going to use a half a cup of this half and half. And then I'm gonna stir all this together and then the only other ingredient we're gonna need is butter but we're gonna use the butter for the waffle maker so my waffle maker is nice and hot so I'm just gonna take some melted butter and brush it over the waffle maker I did the top and the bottom and this batter is, like I said, a little bit thick, so just gonna have to manipulate it a little bit. All right, that's good enough. We're just gonna close that and let that cook. Look how beautiful they are. We're gonna take these off of there. And they seem like they are gonna crisp up a little bit. Ooh, you guys, look how pretty those ones are. I did much better the second time. I shouldn't have been so stingy with the first ones, but absolutely gorgeous. I think I want mine a little darker, so I'll see you in a minute. Y'all look at those beauties. Oh my goodness. I think these are the best looking waffles I've ever made since keto. I'm really proud of myself. Like say what? Look at that. I just threw some butter on there, some syrup. This is the syrup I used. You can definitely get a cleaner syrup if you want to, but I try to go by what my budget allows. And that is the macros, but this stuff's good stuff too. I'm gonna taste test this because that's where it's all gonna be at. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are amazing. Probably the best waffles I've made so far. Absolute clean ingredients. These are delicious. The link will be down below. If you I just thought I'd jump on here and update you guys about the waffles, what I thought about them. So those are really good. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Um, as far as them saying that, that they're crispy, I wouldn't say that, but they literally are probably the best waffles that I've ever made, like homemade since keto. But I honestly feel like, to be honest with you, just to be fair about the crispy part, I don't feel like waffles really stay that crispy once you get the butter on them and the syrup and all that. So I just thought I'd throw that out there if you guys are interested in making them. Look who got haircuts. Huh, Mini Molly? Mini Molly. They just want a treat, Belen. They could care less. Huh, you guys want treats? You gotta dance. You gotta dance. Oh, good girl. All right, y'all, so we are out and about running errands. Sorry about the sun. I feel like this is a terrible shot, but I haven't had a bang in, I don't even remember the last time I had a bang. So I decided to go ahead and get a bang because we have a lot of things that we got to do today. So I am just going to drink this and pray that it does its job. And then I just won't have any coffee this evening, which here lately, I haven't been drinking as much coffee. So Honestly, I've been skipping out on the coffee in the evenings here lately, but this bang is so good. It's called Delish Strawberry Kiss. Hopefully you guys can see that, but holy cow. We are back from running errands. I feel so accomplished. I mean, I'm still in the middle of it, but you know what? I'm just gonna throw this out there, even though all of you guys probably already know, cause y'all do keto and everything else, but when I am on keto, I feel so much better. Cause when we were in Missouri, I didn't really do keto because that's when they were having like that Arctic crazy weather. Literally one day was like negative 20 degrees. 
that's the first real winter Celine has ever had. She's like, who actually lives in this kind of weather on purpose? <laughs> so, I mean, it was crazy. And I know that's not normal for like this time of year. Usually like this was just an odd year, but it was insanely cold for us Arizonans. And I didn't rent a car cause I haven't written, you know, I haven't drove in snow in years. So I was like, I'm not going to take a chance of getting into a wreck and everything else. So I didn't do keto at all while I was there because we were staying with family and everything else. And I wasn't going to be that person that was like, Oh, well, I can't have that. I can't have that. I, I just wasn't going to do it. I didn't feel like that was appropriate. It wasn't, you know, but now that I'm home and I am back on keto, I'm cleaning out the fridge. I'm going to clean out my stove. We are going to get stuff done and it feels so good to be back on keto and have the energy again. Mission accomplished. We have a clean refrigerator. Now I just got to do my oven. All right, I'm going to get dinner going. So I'm just going to cut up these Brussels sprouts and get them cleaned up and then I'll show, show you how I'm going to cook them. But this is two pounds, so I'm only going to use half this bag for dinner tonight and then the other half I'm still going to clean up, but I'm going to freeze them. And I'm using these knives. This company sent me these. I'm not affiliated, but it's Carl Schmidt Son. And they're awesome. They're down below. These things are sharp, so you got to be careful. But I'm digging these knives. All right, so I have them all in here and I am, that's just plain water, but I am gonna throw a little bit of vinegar in there because they say if you clean your fruits and vegetables with vinegar, it helps get the bacteria off. I don't measure, I don't know, if I were to guess, I would say that was maybe a fourth of a cup. All right, so we are gonna do hot dogs and sausages for dinner, but I'm also gonna do steak. That's probably what I'm gonna eat with the Brussels sprouts, but, this is perfect for like meal prepping and stuff because whatever does not get eaten and all this is not going to get eaten tonight, they'll have stuff for lunch tomorrow. Perfect. Because when I grill, I like to grill a lot of things so that way it's kind of like a one and done. All right, so I have the bacon in here. It's pretty much, it's good enough. And so I am going to throw the Brussels sprouts in and get those frying up in here as well. And all that yummy bacon grease. All right. And I didn't um, dump any of the bacon grease because I'm going to use it all just for the fact that there is quite a few Brussels sprouts in here. And we really want this to take on kind of that yummy bacon flavor. I am going to add some salt. And some pepper. And we're just going to let that cook down. All right, the hot dogs and sausage are done. So now I'm gonna work on the steak. All right, so we have two types of steak on the grill. And again, we're not gonna eat all this, but one and done. And I am gonna season them with this Kinder seasoning. It's wood-fired garlic with hardwood smoked flavor. So we're gonna try this out. There are the macros if you guys are interested. I just picked this up today at Sam's Club and I thought that sounded perfect for grilling. Nice and generous. All right, there it is plated up. So that is the Brussels sprouts. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. And see how I kind of get them just a little browned? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the best that way. Look how delicious that is. Then I'm just gonna take a piece of the steak because I also wanted a little bit of sausage. So that is a half of the sausage. And just, I don't know, maybe like, that's probably maybe three, maybe four ounces of a steak. But I'm gonna enjoy this. Get my grains in. The last thing I'm gonna enjoy, enjoy for tonight is I'm gonna have some almond milk, probably around a cup of almond milk, and then Perfect Keto just came out with their strawberry flavored keto collagen. So I'm gonna have that. It's like strawberry milk. I've already tried that, that is amazing. I've even made this 
when I do another full day of eating, I will show you how I make a strawberry collagen protein shake with cocoa nibs. Y'all, it is delicious, but that'll be for another day. I'm just gonna froth it up here in my Vegas mug. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna kinda guess, but we'll pretend like that's a cup. And then I'm just gonna do one scoop of that strawberry collagen, and then I'm gonna take it over here. And I just use my frother and froth it up. And then that's what it looks like. It literally just tastes like strawberry milk, but that is what I'm gonna have. I'm not really gonna do dessert tonight. This is definitely sweet, so if you have a sweet tooth, this can definitely kick that. There are the macros if you guys are interested. So I'm gonna go enjoy that and then I'm gonna relax. Okay y'all, so this is actually the next day. I was so tired last night, I crashed. That bang, finally, I hit a wall. <laughs> so last night after dinner and all that, kind of relaxed a little bit and then we took the dogs for a walk. And after that, I was done. So um, I just went to bed and figured I would close it out the next day, the next morning. That dinner was delicious. Those Brussels sprouts with bacon are always, always so good, but yet they're so easy. But I just wanted to let you guys know, if your family's going through a rough start to this year, like our family is, I mean, it's literally just been one thing after another. It's okay to have setbacks, but it's not okay to stay in those setbacks. That's what I'm really learning. You just can't stay in those setbacks. It's just not healthy. You know, you gotta pick yourself up and you gotta move on no matter how hard it is. And I know sometimes you just kind of need to let yourself be in the moment when things happen, but then you really need to make sure that you do a reset. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, like I said, I'm at peace with my grandpa. You know, I'm getting over all these different things that's been going on in my life. If you've been following me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's literally been one thing after another. But you know what? I'm ready to pick myself up. I'm ready to move on. And I need to get myself back to where I was. Because like I said, I know I've gained weight. I'm that type of person where I'm a stress eater. I don't do well with stress. But I do hit a wall and I'm like, okay, Misty, pick yourself up and let's get back on track. And like I said, that's where I'm at now. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but I pray every single day to the good Lord that yeah, things are, can only get better from here. So that's what I'm praying for. And honestly, I'm, I miss you guys. I miss picking up the camera. I miss talking to you guys. I miss conversing with you guys in the comments. Um, I just miss you guys. <laughs> and like I said, I'm so blessed. But like I said, if you're going through a hard time too, I put out a post about my grandpa on Instagram and here on YouTube. And I know some of you guys have had losses of your grandparents and even your parents. And my heart goes out to every single one of you. My condolences to you and your family. And I'm praying for you and your family. It's never easy. You know, my grandpa was 92 years old. And, you know, that I feel like that's kind of the worst thing that you can say to somebody. Well, he was 92. He had a great life. Yes, he did. But it's still so hard. It's never easy. It's just hard. You know, that's our loved ones. You know, they're always going to be in our thoughts. And we're never never gonna forget them and we'll love them forever and I am at peace I guarantee you he's probably up there talking to his mom my great-grandma because my great-grandma was just like him she was a jokester she was fun she was funny she was always happy she was always smiling so I guarantee you I have a feeling I just have a feeling that he is up there chit-chatting with his mama making jokes telling his funny stories I know he is up there living it up, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> so like I said, if you're going through a hard time, it's okay. It's okay to go through that hard time. Just don't stay there, you know? Pick yourself back up and, you know, do what you know you need to do for yourself and your health and your mental health. I mean, that is like such a big thing because if we stay in the dumps too long, mentally it's gonna get to us. We don't wanna go there, you know? Like I said, I know I need to get back to where I was. I know that. Like I've mentioned, this has been a rough year. I'm not trying to make excuses. I mean, if that's the case, you could make every excuse in the book. 
But the biggest thing is to recognize it and do something about it. <laughs> but for now, I think that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for every kind word you guys always give me. Thank you for always being there for me. I just love you guys so much. Like always, I am praying for you, your family, and your country. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. But I don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're wrong I'm on the back when you're wrong